My parents, they would always make fun of me for being really prude. They would always tease me. Like my parents would be like, Oh, I'm a Tara. I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> Cigarettes make me cough. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to drink alcohol. But yeah, they always make fun of me. They're always like, I'm a prude. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Like in high school, they would be partying. Like they would be drinking alcohol and like having a huge party in the backyard. And I would go out there in the backyard and I would like yell at my parents. I would be like, your friends need to go home right now. It is a Wednesday and we're not partying on Wednesday nights. I need to sleep. And then they would send their friends home and be like, Oh, buzzkill a Terra. And I'm like, you guys. <laughs> Those were my parents. <laughs> my parents aren't Mormon. They, um, I've never mentioned this before. <laughs> this could be embarrassing. Maybe it's not embarrassing. I don't know. My stepdad, he met my mom. <laughs> I don't know why I feel embarrassed saying this. Hold on. They met at a uh, place where ladies take their clothes off for money. Yeah. That's, that's uh, where my mom worked. And then my stepdad met my mom there. She had to make some money. I was like three years old. <laughs> my mom's also beautiful, by the way. And she looks like, like she came out of Baywatch. I think I had my mom smile, which I'm happy. I'm just like, I'm just like, mom, I want to be Mormon and I don't swear and I, and I don't drink alcohol. My mom's like, you nerd. I'm like, just be normal. Why can't my parents be normal? They used to call me a nerd all the time. That's how they would introduce me to other people. They'd be like, oh, this is our daughter, Tara. She's a big nerd. She likes anime. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, weird way to introduce me, but all right. This is our nerd daughter. And I'm like, thanks guys. But they owned a video game store too. My stepdad owned a video game store. So he's like calling me a nerd when he owns a video game store, but he only plays Halo. So he thinks like games that aren't Halo or Destiny are nerdy, if that makes sense. He's got like 80,000 hours in Destiny. And he's just like, if you're playing Skyrim, you're like some kind of like Dungeons and Dragons nerd. Good thing they don't know that I play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> they would never let me live it down. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid my daughter might play d, &D. My parents are always like, Atera is so serious and like stern and like all this stuff. Because I am. When my personality, when I'm around my parents, I think I become like, like on high alert. Like I'm super serious. I'm like, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> and then be like a little strict with them. Be like, no, you cannot do that. Stop. They would always call me a buzzkill. And a prude, and I'd be like, stop doing this. <laughs> like, I had to just follow him around, and be like, no, 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 no. My personality with my parents is like, I'm their parent. I guess it's funny too, because when I'm hanging out with my sister, I also act like how I act with my parents, which is like a parent. I think the only person that I don't act like that with in my family is my real dad and my brother. When I hang out with my brother, we are like telling jokes and laughing until we're like both crying. When I talk with my dad though, I'm like super happy. My dad literally calls me and then answers the phone. First thing I pick up the phone and my dad's like, yay. And then I'm like, yay. <laughs> like we don't even say hi. We just say yay to each other. And then we're like, oh my gosh, did you hear this and this and this? And he's like, oh yeah, this and this and this. And I'm like, oh great. It's blah 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 blah, and I'm like, yeah 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 yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh really? Yeah yeah yeah. That's how me and my dad talk on the phone. <laughs> That's usually how it is when me and my dad hang out too. I didn't send those chocolates to my dad yet. I still have them right here. Got my dad's chocolates right here. They're on ransom. If you ever want to see these chocolates again, send me biscuits. I want biscuits. Oh, you want to know my favorite biscuits? I don't have them right now. I don't buy them because if I buy these biscuits, I will eat all of them until I'm sick. But sometimes it's nice to have biscuits. These are the best biscuits. So they're about this big, small. They've got, they're filled inside with like a hazelnut chocolate. It almost tastes kind of like Nutella, but a little different from Nutella. Just subtle hazelnut. You also get caramel ones. The caramel ones are insanely good. And dip this bad boy in your coffee. Well, if you don't drink coffee, because I don't drink coffee anymore either, dip them in warm milk. 
a nice hot glass of milk. So amazing.